church. Merch, perch, search? No. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to Friends Kids Online. We're so excited to have you. So, I have some exciting news. This summer, there's gonna be a talent show and I've decided to enter. But I'm kind of nervous. I'm gonna write my own song and sing it in front of everyone. But I'm stuck. You know, I kind of just wish I was like those really talented, famous singers out there. They make it look so easy. So I decided to go online and look for some inspiration. And while I was there, one thing led to another. And next thing you know, I'm watching a video about these crazy weird animals. Did you know there's a spider called a sparkle muffin? A sparkle muffin. Yeah, you heard me right. It's like super colorful and it even does a funny dance. There's also an animal called a glass frog. You can see right through it and see all the things inside of it. You know, God makes some unusual things. Oh, I think I'm getting a text message. Hold on a sec. It says, I'm really excited to hear your song at the talent show. No matter what, I think you're really cool and you're a great friend. Just give God your best. Wow. I really needed to hear that. You know, my friend is so amazing. I think I'm ready. It's time for our Bible story. It begins with a dude named Samuel. God and Samuel talked a lot. He was called a prophet because God would tell him stuff so that he could go tell God's people. It was kind of like a game of telephone, but with God. Imagine that. So, the people of God wanted a king. God knew that it wouldn't be a good idea. Some people with power forget to rule fairly and become greedy. It should have been enough for the people to have God. But since the people kept asking for one, God decided to give them a king. But God is so good and always patient with us, even when we choose things that are not always the best choice. A man named Saul became the first king of Israel, but that didn't turn out to be so great. Samuel was pretty bummed about it, but God told him to try again and pick a new king to replace Saul. He sent Samuel to a guy named Jesse. One of his sons would be the next king. Jesse had a lot of sons and they all seemed very king-like meaning each of them would make a good king. But each time Samuel thought one of the sons was definitely the one that God would choose as king, God said no. And God said no to all of Jesse's sons that Samuel saw. All except for one, that is. David was Jesse's youngest son. They didn't even bother to bring him in to see Samuel because they were sure he wasn't king material. But God said otherwise. The moment David was called for and walked into the room, God practically shouted to Samuel, that's my guy, he's the one. This was an unusual choice to say the least. David was chosen by God as the next king of his people. He wasn't perfect, but the smallest of Jesse's sons turned out to be a truly great king who had a heart that was after God's own heart. This story is living proof that God uses unlikely people. Wow, that was a great story. God used a boy who was smaller and younger than the rest of his brothers and chose him as king. I never realized how often God uses unlikely people. You know, just because you're an unlikely choice doesn't mean you're not the right choice. You know what? I might not be the best singer or songwriter in my school, but that's okay. And you know what? People might actually like it. And I don't have to be like everyone else. God made crazy unique animals like the sparkle muffin spider and the glass frog. And you know what? God made me unique too. And that message today from my friend really helped me out. I loved the part they wrote about giving God your best. That would be perfect for my song. Okay, 
I need to go finish that, and then I can't wait to share it with you when I'm all done. But before we go, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for seeing what's inside our hearts instead of what we look like on the outside and choosing us even when we look like the most unlikely person. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for hanging out today and have an awesome week. Bye, guys.